What's up, white fans? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, main man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this, fight fans. Word on the curb, man. So according to some recent reports that have now surfaced, they have Bob Arum quoted and given uh, the indication of what's going to happen between Tyson Fury and Ola Sander Usyk. A lot of boxing fans are waiting for this fight to be officially announced, date and venue, so they can start to uh, maybe try to, you know, attend this fight. And we know that this fight will possibly go down for the undisputed heavyweight championship fight fans. According to Bob Arum, it seems as if they're, they're now waiting uh, for a possible offer to come from the Middle East fight fans. And they're holding off and for their future plans until they get a clear answer of whether or not the Middle East is going to take this fight. It seems as if they're expecting the answer on that possibly this coming week. And it's being reported that the Middle East, you know, if they take advantage of this situation, they're going to make a deal directly with the fighters, according to Bob Aaron, which pretty much leaves the promoters out of it. And we know how this normally goes when fight happens in the Middle East. They want to take total control of the event as well as the fighters, almost as if saying that the fighters are on loan fight fans. And so I'm sure the promoters don't mind a situation like that because normally the fighters get paid very, very well from the Middle East and they got to perhaps give a certain percentage back to their promoters. And uh, I'm sure the promoters won't mind taking a good chunk out of say 20 plus million dollars. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, fight fans, it seems as if that they're waiting on the offer to surface from the Middle East, possibly this week. And according to Bob Arum, that if the fight doesn't, you know, come from the Middle East or if they don't like the deal that's being offered, that they're going to go forward and do a fight in the UK in Wembley. So, and they also, he's saying that uh, Ola Sander Usyk is asking for a 50-50 deal in this particular situation. And Bob Arum doesn't think that that's the right way to go for Usyk if the fight happens in the UK, because it'll be Tyson Fury who will be doing majority of pulling and, you know, of drawing the fans in that situation and um they know that you know tyson fury's last fight with dillian white did what ninety four thousand in wembley so they're saying that tyson is going to be the draw not to mention he'll be attracting the pay-per-view so you know he think they think that he should get the lion's share i don't know we'll let them work that out we know Alexander Usyk is bringing majority of the titles to the situation uh we'll see how it goes fight fans i think that you know me i'm heavy on accomplishments i'm always down to praise the accomplishment side and Olesander Usyk holds the power of undisputed. And Olesander Usyk is, has shown in the past, at least publicly said, you know, we ain't seen no action behind it. Acting as if that if he doesn't have certain demands fulfilled or if they don't kind of sort of, you know, uh, uh, adhere to some of his demands that he's willing to pull out. He even threatened at one time to go and face Deontay Wilder. But however, man, we'll see, man, if Olesander Usyk sticks to his uh, position on this and wanting to remain and have 50 50 and it, will they oblige him you know what i mean this is tyson fury's opportunity to, to have every single title at one time uh, um and be crowned as a undisputed champion that's something that he's never touched it's something that he's never done you know what i mean yeah he had the lineal belt but he's all he's never been undisputed fight fans and maybe that's a box that he would like to check before his career is over so we'll see how this all works out man but either way man do y'all think that Ola Sander Usa got to claim that 50-50, whether it's in UK or not? I mean, I'm, like I said, if you ask me, I'm always down to say yes. I think a fighter deserves what he think he's worth. And he having, having all of those world titles, being the man to defeat Anthony Joshua two times, maybe he feel like that's what he's worth. Not to mention he is a former undisputed champion. So that's something he's already had. It's it's it's, it's and When you have fighters who've already kind of done that, fight fans, you know, hey, you got to move to their beat to a certain degree because they're not as hungry for it, maybe, or hungry uh, to check that box, should I say, as the other fight is. So we'll see if they've been uh, Ola Sander Usyk's will, or we'll see how this all works out in the end, fight fans. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, 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 rock the bells, man. To the next video, man. Peace out.